Here at our agribusiness desk today, we're talking with Brian Basting, and one of the things we're talking about, and I guess I don't think about it a lot, and that is ending stocks. We're talking about what is left over uh, at this point in time for next year. And so how do we stand right now? Right now, as we conclude 2011, we're projected to be very tight on corn stocks for the conclusion of this crop year next August. Um, the challenge of the market, though, is the market is always looking forward and right now the market's looking at the potential for a buildup in those stocks, underline the word potential, potential for a buildup in those stocks in 12, 13, because if we plant more corn acres in 12 and get yields closer to normal level, we could certainly raise a, a very large corn crop next year. Yeah, whenever we talk about having a big, a big yield and a lot of corn left over, then those prices go down. But right now our corn, even though it's in the fives as opposed to the sevens or eights, <laughs> it's still pretty good price. Well said. It's still a good price from an historical perspective. It's not $8 or 750 where it was this summer, but the market has changed since this summer. We've seen more competition worldwide. We've seen some substitution for, for corn, feed wheat, for example, and overseas feed rations. So that, that's kind of in the past. That's in the rearview mirror. The market's going to go forward from this point forward and look at what's going on in South America and the U.S. for 2012. You just mentioned South America. Whenever you look at any stocks, you really have to look at the stocks around the world. You're not just looking at United States stocks. Is that correct? More so now than ever. Record crops, record stocks in South America, for example. Record stocks of soybeans this fall in South America has derailed U.S. soybean exports. So. All, more than ever, those stocks around the world impact farmers' prices here in the U.S. Yeah, when you think of wheat, you're also thinking of Australia immediately. <laughs> yeah, immediately. Wheat stocks are at a 12-year high worldwide, so it doesn't take really? long for that stock trend to, to, to change, stocks to grow, and prices to decline. So, whenever you add the wheat, the soybeans, and two other countries, what we're doing here with corn, if we have a good year next year and everybody grows 160 bushels per acre on a lot more acres, that's going to make a big difference. Well said. It can make a big difference. We've had back-to-back -back years of corn yields here, national corn yields, well below trend. If we approach anything close to trend in 2012 for corn yields national, we could see a whopper of a corn crop and significantly lower prices. Thank you very much, Brian Basting. You've been our guest here on Ag Day. Back for more in a moment. To talk with Brian one-on-one, -on -one, call Advanced Trading at 800-664-2314 or head online to advanced-trading.com.